Hello students, myself Dr. Majin Shrinivas, I teach Dermatology in my YouTube channel. So if you are not yet subscribed to it, do subscribe. This is the today's MCQ. 14 year old girl presents with yellowish birthmark, which is present since birth over the scalp. Her parents report the lesion has progressively become thicker and warty. So it is becoming more and more thicker and more and more warty. That is verrucous surface. She is asymptomatic, but they Parents are concerned about the cosmetic appearance. What is the diagnosis? And if you have marked the option C, that is sebaceous nevus, as the answer, you are absolutely right. And I have seen few students answering it as option A. So let us see the differences between option A and option C. Okay. So it's definitely not congenital warts uh, because warts uh, are infective and they are, they are the, the child, if they get infected uh, from the mother, they are going to develop uh, laryngeal papillomatosis, but definitely not warts over the body. So let us see what is this sebaceous nevus which is also called as nevus sebaceous. It is basically also called as referred to as organoid nevus and you can see it is a non-neoplastic malformation which includes not only just the sebaceous uh, element hyperplasia but also follicular apocrine elements and also even epidermal hyperplasia will be present. So this nevus sebaceous consists of all these structures hyperplasia. And the site is classically over the scalp and on the scalp also the lesional skin is going to be hairless as you have seen in the picture surrounding uh, the lesion the hair was uh, normal whereas over the lesion if you observe the hair is absent okay and uh, yeah grows normally around it the infant's hair grows normally around the lesion during the childhood the knee was thickened slightly Okay, whereas in the adolescence, th there will be progressive thickening of this lesion and also you can see visually over the surface, the lesion will become more and more verrucous. Okay. And this is sebaceous gland hyperplasia. So, as you can see clearly, it is uh, associated with only sebaceous gland changes, whereby there will be benign enlargement of the sebaceous glands. And what is the characteristic site for this? It is face and also upper part of the neck but not scalp. Okay. And you can also get some uh, clues in the question. Like for example, there can be a patient who is uh, organ transplant recipient on immunomodulators like for example, cyclosporin because of which there can be increased chances of incidence of this sebaceous gland hyperplasia. Okay, I hope all of you understood this uh, explanation. Please do hit that like button if you have uh, understood this explanation. And I am very happy that uh, many of the students marked the answer right as uh, option C. And few students thought uh, as option A, which was uh, wrong. Okay, so no, isn't nevus always pigmented? No, a nevus need not be always pigmented. Nevus simply means which, that which is present since birth. It's also referred to as a mole and the color of these nevus uh, can range from brown or it can be even pink also it can be black. So it need not be always pigmented or black in color and uh, many of the students have marked it right. If you are not yet joined the telegram group which is free for all you can check out the link as are there in the description and if you are not yet subscribe to youtube channel why are you waiting please do change this red subscribe button into a white subscribed button and these are all the students in youtube who have answered it right very good and ugadi subha kangshalu ugadi subha shegalu happy good padwa happy ugadi to all the uh, uh, students it's a uh, indian happy new year and yes, during this time, the natural forces are going to help you a lot. So make use of this uh, for your exam preparation and also for overall well-being. And this is tomorrow's MCQ. Pause this video and try to guess the answer and uh, comment your answer below with question number 406 followed by your answer. Always you should think that I can do it. And uh, if you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe. And also you can follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you so much. Do share this video among your friends. Do like this video friends. The target for the likes is at least 20 likes. Do give uh, your love if this video was helpful. Myself Dr. Majinan Shinvas. Happy learning. Sarvam Sri Krishna from Sarvechana. Sukhino Bhavandu.